Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to fold this origami Clydesdale horse out of a square sheet of paper. So uh, as you can see, there's a nice color change uh, on the head and legs. Uh, so without further ado, uh, let's get into the folding. So for this model, you're going to need an extra large sheet uh, of uh, kami paper. So here I have got brown and white on the other side. Uh, and I'm going to start on the white side facing upwards. Uh, so you can buy the same paper at Origami Shop. I'll leave a link uh, up there. Uh, now, we want to fold the paper in the diagonal. So we're going to take this corner and fold it down to the bottom corner here. So you can also use a bit smaller paper, but I would recommend uh, not going underneath uh, 30 by 30 centimeters. And also, if I could just give you one tip for uh, this type of folding, uh, you really need to be as accurate as humanly possible, because otherwise you'll get, um, well, the folding sequence will be harder and you might get uh, a model that isn't really clean at the end. Now, unfold, and we're going to repeat the same step in the other direction. So just take this, a uh, corner here and fold it down to the bottom right. And flatten. Now unfold and we're going to turn the paper over. So we're going to go back to the brown side. Now, uh, when I received this paper, I already had these creases, uh, but I'm just going to fold them again. So we're going to take this top edge and fold it down to the bottom edge. So what we're doing right now, it's we're um, just making some uh, reference creases for later. So we're not actually going into the detail right now for the moment. That's going to, that we're keeping for later. So now we've got this crease, we're just going to unfold and repeat the same step for this crease. So just take the right hand edge and bring it all the way to the left edge. and unfold. Now we're going to um, fold a crease that goes from this uh, bottom left corner all the way to um, this line right here. So the idea is uh, that you need to get this corner here to the middle, um, to the diagonal. And when you get it to the diagonal, so basically you want to align this edge right here with the diagonal line. But don't flatten anything for the moment because we just want to make uh, a small pinch right here where my left index is. So here you're just going to pinch the paper down and then unfold. Now we're going to fold uh, this corner down to the, paper, the piece of paper we've just pinched. So right here we just want to bring that corner there. And to make sure it's correct, you also want to make sure on the left side that the 
this edge here aligns correctly with the one there at the bottom. Now I've just checked everything and it falls into place correctly. So I'm just going to flatten. Now once again, we just want to pinch the side here, right there. So I'm just pinching and creasing this part of paper, but here we do not need to crease it. Otherwise, we'll just have some more um, creases that aren't going to be useful. Now, once we have that, we're going to uh, fold the uh, intersection we have here from the crease we've just made with the edge of the paper. So we're going to fold from there to that bottom left corner. Right, so here I've got the top right part and now I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom left. Now once again you don't want to crease through this whole section, you just want to crease um, along this line here. So you just want to press the paper right there and unfold. Now we've got this intersection right here and that's what, that is what interests us. So we're going to fold a crease that goes um, along here and that crosses the intersection. So here I'm again trying to be as accurate and precise as possible. So now you can just flatten. And unfold. Now we're just going to um, repeat that same crease on the um, right side here. So how do we make sure it's the same distance? Uh, we just want to make the fold and make sure it goes on that intersection with this crease we've just made and the diagonal crease. So I put my finger on this point to block it and then I make sure I crease right on it. Now I've creased perfectly on it so I'm just going to maintain that pinch right here and at the same time I'm going to align the edges there and at the bottom just like that. Now I'm going to flatten here and I'm going to make sure the top edges are aligned as well. And now I can flatten along the whole length of the paper. And unfold. Now we're going to repeat the same step on the left side. So you see same intersection here with the diagonal line there and the horizontal crease there. We just want to get that intersection right and pinch straight on it. So here my pinch is a bit slightly offset. So I'm just going to do it again. And this time it's perfectly correct. And now I'm just going to align uh, the edges together. So bottom edges are aligned and now the top edges. Yep. There we go. So now I can just crease along the whole length of the paper and unfold. Now we're just going to repeat that same step on the top here. So we've got two intersections, so we can just align these two intersections here where my fingers are. Uh, so it's with these diagonal lines and these vertical lines. So just fold everything down. And here we've got one inter intersection right there and the other one just along here. So now I've folded through both intersections and I've made sure that the right and left edges are aligned, I can just flatten through the whole length of the paper. 
and unfold. Uh, now we're going to turn the paper around, go back to the white side, and we're going to fold uh, this mountain fold. Uh, if you're not familiar with mountain folds, as you, you can see, this fold looks kind of like a mountain. We have both sides going in to the bottom, uh, and a valley fold is the opposite. So that in the middle is a valley fold, because but the paper goes up from the valley fold. Uh, now back to the folding, we take this mountain fold and bring it to the um, center uh, horizontal line here. So just align both um, creases. And when you align them, you'll want to flatten underneath and you're going to see it makes a crease appear right there, this one. So we just want to flatten from above and now unfold. We're going to repeat the same step uh, on the top layer. So just bring the mountain fold to the horizontal crease and flatten. Now unfold and same thing on right and left side. So I'm going to take this mountain fold and bring it to the uh, middle vertical crease. Right there, I'm just going to align everything. And flatten. So once that, once that is done, we can unfold and repeat the same step on the left side. So I'm taking that mountain fold here and bringing it to the middle vertical line. Now unfold. Now we're going to rotate the model um, in this direction and we're going to uh, valley fold that whole top triangle down. All right. And flatten. Now I'm just going to make sure all the creases are nice and flattened and they don't go up in the air because that could mess up with the accuracy and precision. Now uh, we're going to make um, inside crimp folds. So we're basically going to open up the paper and push this inside along these two mountain folds right there. So the first one, mountain fold is here, second one there. So just push the paper inside with these mountain folds. And then just bring it back outside along the valley folds. And flatten. Now we're just going to repeat the same step on the left side. Right there, so I'm just opening up, pushing everything in with the mountain folds and then back out along the valley folds. So this uh, shouldn't be uh, too hard because we already have all the creases set correctly. It should be pretty straightforward. Uh, so now we're just going to take this uh, extra um, layer of paper and we're just going to pull it down and make a valley fold along with this line. So just take a look at how I do it. I just take the paper and fold it down and flatten. Now we're going to open up the entire triangle here and we're going to fold uh, this right corner here to that point right there. So there and flatten. 
so I'm just trying to be, once again, just as accurate as possible. Then same step on the left side. So I'm just taking that left corner and folding it uh, into the point right there. Now we're going to uh, fold this top corner down to this point right there. And we're not going to go through the whole length of the paper, but once we've aligned these two points, we're just going to fold down until this point right there, where you have this line that goes up and intersects with the crease, that's exactly where we want to stop. Now unfold, and I'm just going to repeat the same step uh, on this side, so I just take that same top corner and bring it down there. Now unfold. Now uh, we want to turn the model over and we're going to fold this uh, layer, this flap of paper down. And flatten. Now we're going to fold uh, this bottom edge right there. We're just going to fold it back up to that cr horizontal crease there. So we're just going to do a valley fold. Now unfold and we're going to make a spread squash. So look at how I do it. So you basically open up on both sides here. So I open up here and on the other side there. And then we're just going to valley fold it back up. And we want to spread both layers with our fingers like so and i'm just going to press everything down squash everything down and uh, we want to shape a rectangle in the middle here so we want to we already have the creases so we just want to make sure that uh, our folds just come down on the exact creases we want so here just pulling this out a bit there. Now we've got our spread squash and we just flatten everything. So once we have that, we want to make some thirds here. So we want to separate this piece of paper in three equal layers. So I'm just going to go to the edge here uh, and we, I can see that this flap is exactly 4.5 centimeters uh, large here. So I'm just going to do 1.5. So I have 1.5 here. And I'm going to fold at the zero mark. So that, yes. Now we have our first third, so I'm just going to Fold that down. Now unfold. And I'm just going to do the other third. So at 1.5 once again. And here we are. You might have to open up a bit of this paper to make sure you can make the pre-crease along the entire length. Now unfold. So once we have that, uh, we're just going to open up here and make 
a closed sink in. So as you can see here, we have a mountain fold. So we're going to close sink the paper along that mountain fold. And you want to push the paper in at the same time. And then we're just going to take the paper and bring it back out along the other third we had pre-creased. So just like that, we're just going to press everything together. So we're basically making a closed sink in and out. Now we're just going to repeat all these steps on uh, each of these uh, la uh, layers, yes. So I'm just going to divide that in thirds once again. So one here at 1.5. So just in case you um, want to know how to make thirds, you just measure the entire distance and then divide it by three. And you want to make the fold at the distance you find each time. So here I have my first third at 1.5. And now I'm going to measure my second third once again at 1.5 centimeters. and unfold. Now I'm going to sink in and out once again. So I'm going to open up the paper. And here we're just going to make a valley fold there and join both of these edges together. So here I show you what you get there. So you just have that diagonal crease that just goes up and down. And now I'm just going to close the flap back down and flatten. Now I'm going to repeat the same step here. So I'm just going to divide it into thirds. and unfold. Now once again, I'm just going to sink in and out. So I'm just pressing that um, far layer of paper just inside.
And now we're just going to repeat the step on the last flap. So I'm just going to divide it into thirds once again. And here, uh, I didn't mention it before, but you really want to mark uh, these folds well for the thirds here. Otherwise you could uh, end up going a bit, um, like not entirely on the correct parts of the crease. And that can bring up a bit of trouble. So I'm just going to sink in and out one last time. Now, if you're wondering, uh, what we're doing here on all four flaps uh, is going to be the uh, crimps that are going to allow us to make uh, the um, legs of the Clydesdale horse. Now I'm just going to put the ruler away for now. Now, once we're done with all the um, pleats here, we're just going to rotate the paper 90 degrees and uh, fold this bottom corner all the way to that intersection here. And make a valley fold. Now we're going to fold the entire model in half along this line right there. So I'm just folding all the model in half. Now we're going to open up and make a valley fold along this line here. And at the same time, we're going to uh, fold all that layer of paper down. So look at how I do it. I just open up here and press that layer of paper down. Now we're going to turn the paper over and we're going to uh, fold this edge uh, to the horizontal crease there. And flatten. Now unfold and we're going to open up here and make a squash fold. Now we're going to do a petal fold, so we're just going to have to do a bit of pre-crease before that. So take this edge here and bring it to the middle horizontal, uh, sorry, the middle vertical line. Right here, just make the valley fold. Now we're just going to repeat the same valley fold on the left side. Uh, 
and flatten. Now unfold and we're going to do the petal fold. So take this layer of paper and bring it up. And at the same time, we just want to close along the creases we've just made. So here you see, you see it doesn't lie flat. We just want to bring it to the top and flatten. Now we're going to open up the entire white layer you can see here. So I'm just going to pull it out and we want to uh, open it up a bit to unfold that corner. Now we want to make a, a mountain fold along this line here. And flatten. Now I've just zoomed in a bit because the paper is now smaller. You can see better that way. So once we have uh, this flap, we're just going to uh, put our hand inside and make it go to the left while leaving it opened up. And with my uh, fingers, I'm going to go right to the end here and I'm going to wriggle my finger a bit to open up here, right there, you can see. That way I have the paper going down on both sides. And I'm just going to make the crease follow and flatten everything. Uh, and once I get to this point, uh, we're just going to pinch this piece of paper and just bring, bring everything a bit to the top. So that doesn't look too easy, but uh, since we've got all the creases already uh, made, it should just fall into place naturally. Now, once we have this flap, we want to open up so just put our hand inside and squash fold everything down. Now we're just going to take this bottom corner, this bottom tip and fold it up uh, in a petal fold. So just bring it up, so we want to bring that tip on this point. And at the same time we want to close the brown layers down to complete our petal fold. Now we're going to take the tip and bring it back down. Now we're just going to turn the paper over. Oh, and I, I made a mistake. As I was folding, I didn't realize that this uh, valley fold came out of place. So I'm just going to lift that and push it back where it was. So now we're going to make a valley fold along this line and we're going to open up that layer at the same time. So I'm just doing the valley fold to the right and then we want to align um, this edge here with the edge right underneath. So just make sure they are perfectly aligned just like that. And then we want to squash everything down. Now we're going to fold this layer back to the left.
and we're going to repeat the same step on this right side. So we're just going to open up and do a valley fold along this vertical line. And we want to align the edges together. And here we do have now an extra reference. We can just match both edges uh, along this line right here. Now I'm just putting my finger inside to make sure the fold here um, is done correctly. So I'm having a bit of resistance. So I'm just making sure not to make some unnecessary creases. And here it is. Now once again, I'm just going to fold uh, this left layer of paper back to the right and flatten. Now we want to take this bottom tip and bring it all the way to the top right there. Now we want to fold this um, this right tip to um, that point here, so where the brown paper intersects with the horizontal crease. So we're just pre-creasing this. Now we're just going to repeat the same step on the left side. So I'm just taking that tip and bringing it right there where the intersection is. Now unfold on both sides and we're going to bring that layer of paper back down. And now we're going to do an inside reverse fold along the crease we've just made. So just open up the paper and push it in. and flatten. Now I'm going to repeat the same step on the left side. So just open up the paper and push the paper inside. Now we're going to take this left edge and we're going to uh, align it with that horizontal crease right there. And we're just going to flatten along this crease. And then we're just going to follow the crease along until the middle point here, and then no point going further. Now we're just going to close the layer back down and repeat the same step on the right side. So we're just going to take that right edge and bring it to that horizontal crease there. Now I'm just creasing everything to the middle line. And now I'll close the layer back down. All right, now um, we want to make the valley fold along this line. We just want to fold it again. So I'm just going to pop my hand inside here and push everything upwards. And now I'm just going to close both layers here. And when we close the layers, we want to make sure that the um, mountain folds here, uh, the ones we just pre creased here, that they uh, are folded. So here on the left side, I can see it's good. I'm just going to have a quick look on the right side and yes, it does fall into place. So now I can just take this small triangle here and just pop it to the left. Now we want to take this edge here and we're going to bring it to the middle crease.
and flatten. Now unfold and we're going to make an open sink. So just open up all of the layer here. And we want to make a mountain fold along this crease and along that one as well. And then the mountain folds continue along this crease. And finally this one. And now we're just going to sink and push the paper inside and then we're just going to close the flap back. Now once we've done that open sink, we're just going to take uh, this flap and bring it to the right. That way we can just have the space to repeat this same step on the left side. So we're just going to take this edge and fold it to the middle crease. Now unfold and we're going to open sink once again. So just open up the whole layer and we're going to do a mountain fold here. And then we follow up right there along that crease. Then we go back along this crease right there. This one is a valley fold, so we need to reverse fold it into a mountain fold. And now this one is a bit easier, so we just pinch it through and then push the paper inside. And once we've done that, we can just close the layer back down. So the idea behind these two folds is to um, basically make the entire body a bit thinner so that um, we'll have a bit more of an athletic horse. So now we're just going to um, take this layer and we're going to bring that tip all the way. <coughs> Sorry. So we're just going to take that tip and bring it all the way to the top right here. And that's all make this uh, flat, not lie flat. So we're just going to pull it up to the top as well. And so this should just fall into place naturally. We can just make it into a petal fold and just flatten everything. You want to make sure this edge we're going to create lies along the middle vertical crease. But that should be actually pretty intuitive. Now, once we have uh, this flap, we're just going to pull some paper out. So we just take this hidden paper and just bring it all the way to the right. So just pull it out. And now we want to fold this right edge to that horizontal crease you can see. And we're not going to go all the way, it's just on the far right side. So from the right tip here, and we're going, just going to fold it uh, until this point right there. So roughly around here, we're going to stop folding and unfold. Now we're going to repeat the same step on the bottom. So take this bottom left edge and we're going to fold it up to the horizontal crease. Now unfold. So once we've done that, we're going to uh, make a valley fold in this direction and we want 
to uh, basically have a line that runs through this intersection right here and the same one but at the top so just there so if you've been accurate enough uh, you should have the tip that goes nearly to the far left side mine as you can see there's a little slight imprecision so it doesn't go right on it but it's good enough all right so once we have that we're going to valley fold this top edge to the horizontal crease and we're not going to unfold once that comes into place you'll see the model won't lie flat so we're just going to uh, do a swivel fold here and just press the paper down now once again we've already got all the creases and the pre-creases made for this fold so it should just naturally fall into place now once we've done that we're just going to repeat the same step here so take that bottom edge here and bring it up to the horizontal crease and then just flatten that layer down. Now we're going to uh, take that layer and pull it back inside and, while making a mountain fold along this line. And flatten. Now we're just going to take this tip and fold it back down. Now we're going to uh, have to repeat the same step on this side. So for that, we're just going to take that triangle and bring it out of the way. So take this, uh, I'm just going to lift this up a minute just so we have the space. So I'm just going to take this bottom tip and bring it all the way to the top here. And make sure that these flaps stay uh, tight together. You don't want them um, getting separated between each other, getting separated from each other, sorry. Uh, now I'm going to keep this out of the way because it's going to be annoying. Now once I've got that to the top, we're going to flatten here. And as I said before, we're just going to petal fold and close that layer down while aligning it with the uh, vertical middle crease. Now, once again, we're just going to pull the hidden paper outside. And we're just going to repeat the same steps. So uh, I think you should have uh, understood how to do it. So I'm just going to go a bit uh, faster this time. So take this edge, fold it down to the horizontal crease. Then unfold, repeat the same step on the bottom side. Now fold everything to the tip here. Oh, yeah. so, there we are. And now we're going to make a swivel fold. and repeat the same step on the, on the top side. And then just pop that layer back inside. Now we've got both flaps here. I'm just going to leave them on the right side for now. 
but it's not very important really. They're just going to be useful uh, to make the model cleaner and they're just going to be the flaps that go on the back of the horse. Uh, so now that we have done that, we're going to um, bring that flap back down. So once again, you see these layers here, they wanted to separate themselves. I am not allowing that, I'm keeping them close together. Now we're going to do a squash fold here. So just put your fingers inside and reach up to that corner and then just turn the right side and squash fold everything. And you want to make sure that tip here goes exactly on that point there. Now we want to be quite accurate with uh, this uh, piece of the paper because that's going to be the head. So we want it to be uh, as good as we can. Now we want to um, turn this to the left and then back to the right, but we're going to open up and make another squash fold. So just pop your finger inside up to the top corner and then flatten everything. You want to make sure that crease here aligns with the middle line. Now we're going to pre-crease a petal fold. So fold this flap to the middle line. Then repeat the same step on the left side. Now we're going to unfold both and fold that to the top. So just take that layer of paper, bring it upwards, and then we're just going to close our petal fold. There we are. And this little triangle, we're going to bring it first to the top and then fold it down to the bottom. Now we're going to close this layer to the right and we're going to repeat the same steps on this flap. So you're going to squash fold it. Now we're going to pre-crease the petal fold once again. So both flaps to the middle line and then unfold. And we're going to bring the paper upwards while doing the petal fold. So we close the layers here and we make the paper uh, into a triangle that we bring first to the top, then the bottom. And now we close the layer to the left. All right, now we're going to take uh, this bottom tip and bring it to the top. Then we're going to fold it down to this um, crease here, I'll show you a bit better, that crease there, we're going to fold the tip down, now once we have this, uh, we're going to fold that top tip here down to this line right there. and unfold. So now that we've got this crease that we have just made, we're going to fold down on it while opening these flaps. And we want to open them exactly from the bottom tip here all the way up to there. So this point. Same thing on the left side. So what that, what that allows us to do is to leave um, a white area for uh, some features of the head which uh, need the white color change. Now we're going to take that tip and bring it up to the top. Uh, 
and we're going to fold both these tips here on the left and right we're going to bring them to the middle so we're going to bring them both to the intersection between that middle vertical line and that horizontal line there All right, uh, now we want to fold this uh, edge right there up to that line here. So take a look, because it's not that clear. So you need to fold it up and bring it there. Then same thing on the left side. So just bring the layer up and then unfold both of them. So we're going to start with the left one. We're going to make a valley fold while uh, making a swivel right here. Just to take this part and fold it back to the brown side. Then same thing here. So I'm just going to bring it up while swiveling the paper. And that's it. I'm just sorting out because I have an issue with my paper. You can see here, there are two creases that uh, were made and I just want one of these. And there I've just transformed both into one. I've merged them together. And now that this is solved, we can move on to the next step. Uh, and for that, we're just going to fold the model in half. So we're just going to fold both flaps away from each other like that. And we want these triangles here to come up. All right, now we want to get that whole section with the head and the front leg uh, up. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to Pull that up a bit and here, this part, we're just going to hold on to everything except these two layers. These two top layers, we're going to leave them be, let them be. And once we have this grip, we're just going to get that up where we want. And we're going to push the front legs. So here. And we want to make a valley fold there. Now inside what you want to have is this getting created, this kind of mountain fold. Then flatten, you need to flatten that mountain fold there. Then I'm just going to take the head and bring it up. So this side is done, I'm just going to take care of the other side. So here we need to get that mountain there. And now we can be exactly symmetrical with the other leg. And just pull the rest of the head up as well. Right, so once we have that, uh, we're going to take care of the tail. So here we're going to have uh, both of our back legs, these two flaps on the sides, and that's going to be the tail. So you want to take the tail and fold it upwards. And you want a point to get out here. So we're going to leave that this way 
and you want to align this edge with that line here. So we're basically making uh, what's called an outside reverse fold. So same thing here, you align this edge with that line there. So what this is going to allow us to do is to have the tail stick out and uh, differentiate itself from the legs. There it is. You can see the tail here. Uh, so now we're going to reverse outside reverse fold it. So the same fold, but in the other direction. So we're going to take this edge here and align it with the edge that is here. And then same thing on the other side. So I'm going to turn the paper over, it will be easier. So I'm just aligning both of these edges together. And then there we have it. So here we'll go into more detail for the tail later, but we'll leave it uh, that way for now. Um, now we're going to take care of the legs. So for the legs, we're going to take this one first and bring it uh, all the way here. And when you want, so when you do that valley fold, you want to make sure that this line uh, goes up exactly at the bottom of that triangle. So that's the reference point. And you also want to make sure this edge is aligned with that crease and line here. Now you do the valley fold. And then fold it down. I'm going to unfold it and make it a bit more clean. So we're going to make a crimp fold. So instead of just doing this, we want to do this for the first edge here and then the opposite for the other edge. So turn, turn it around. Yeah, no, you won't see anything if I turn it around. I'll leave it that way. I'll open it up from the bottom and you want to make a mountain fold here. So real quick, I'm just going to crease that mountain fold and then a valley fold that goes back down along that crease here. There we go. Now we're going to make a small crease. <clears throat> that goes um, from this point and along here. So you need to fold this edge up to that edge. Now what interests us is this point right here, the intersection with the edge and the crease we've just made. Uh, so we, from this point, we're going to make a mountain fold that goes down and then a valley fold that goes back behind. That way we can shape the leg down. And now we're going to swivel fold everything. So we're just going to uh, lift that and hide the paper behind. So you just push it inside. All right, now we're going to repeat the same steps uh, for this right side um, leg. So we're going to pre-crease 
this fold so you want to go from the bottom of the triangle and align this edge with that crease that rides along here now once you've done that we want to pull it back and just make it a lie on this here to make it nice and symmetrical now once we've done that we're going to unfold and we're going to uh, open up and push it in that way we fold it along both sides so just push push this in while holding with your fingers here There it is. All right, now um, we're going to fold this edge up to that edge here. Just there. And what we want is that point right here where that crease intersects with the edge. Here, that's where we want to make our mountain fold. And then once we have the mountain fold, we're just going to um, take this layer, turn it around, and we're basically going to squeeze this together. And we want these two edges to be aligned. Now, once again, we're just going to open up a bit here and push the paper inside. There we go. All right, now once that is done, uh, we're going to turn the paper over and we're going to take care of the tail in a bit more detail. So first, uh, we're going to fold it down uh, from that point. Uh, and there's no actual reference, just try and get something that looks roughly like this, then flatten. Now unfold and we're going to do a closed sink along these lines. So just open up the tail and just press on that point. Now you want to have a valley fold here in the middle. And then we want to make a mountain fold there. There's already a crease, so you'll just have to invert the valley fold into a mountain fold. On the other side, it's already a mountain fold, so it just falls into place. Now, here we go, and we're going to uh, fold that back down. So just take the tip and press with your thumb here. So we're just going to try and reverse it around. Once again, no real reference, just do it to taste how you think it looks good. And there we have it. I might change it up a bit later but for now I'm satisfied with that now um, we're going to open up the legs to get a bit of the um, uh, white uh, bottom parts for the legs so just open up the first layer Now, once we've done that, we're going to make an inside reverse fold for this flap. So you just open it up and then with your thumb, you, this valley fold, you're just going to push it outwards. Like so. Now we're going to um, repeat the same step here on the uh, hidden side of the leg. So just take this flap and pull it out and try to make it match right there. You want to make it go on the same place. There we go. Now I'll just put the leg back into place. There we go. 
All right, so now we're going to uh, repeat the same step on the other leg right there. So I've just turned the model around uh, and we're going to take this first layer of paper and bring it to the right. So just open it up to the bottom. So the only reference here is that you need to go all the way to the bottom corner there. Otherwise, if we do it from here to here, that's personal preference. Just try and have something similar to what I do. Uh, I think it should look a bit better, but you don't have to do the exact same thing. Now I'm opening up here again, the next layer, and I'm just pulling the paper out while holding that quite firmly. Now, once we have this, we're just going to flatten. There we go. Now, once again, uh, I'm just going to pull that flap out and make it match. There it is. So these legs are done for now. I might go into a bit more detail for the final shaping, but for now, uh, it's this part is uh, done. Uh, so uh, once we've done that, we're going to uh, repeat the same step on the front leg. So just take this layer, bring it to the front. And now let's do a reverse fold. So just take that layer here and just bring it to the front. So in case you didn't uh, really understand that fold, it's basically a inside reverse fold where you just uh, reverse this valley fold into a mountain fold uh, and you just bring it um, out in the process. Now we're just going to take the last layer here and bring it uh, in a symmetrical way to match the other side of the leg. Now let's turn the paper around and we'll repeat the same step right here. So here I'm doing the, the inside reverse fold. And then finally, just bringing that last layer of paper to match the other side. So the legs are done for now. Um, now we're going to hide uh, this uh, flap, which we're not really going to use. So just take these uh, top layers and bring them down. Same thing on the other side, I'm just bringing it down. Now we just want to um, push it inside. So here, just bring it in. So you want to make the, fl the flap go kind of downwards.
Now we're going to focus a bit on the head. So we're going to make an outside crimp fold. So we're just going to pinch the neck here. And while we pinch the neck, we're going to bring that back. And then back to the front. Just like this. Now we want to pull out this hidden layer there. So just bring it out and flatten. So this we're going to use for the mane of the horse. So we're just going to fold that back. Now let's repeat the same step on the other side. We just pull the flap out. So now we're just going to make the ears a bit thinner. So how do we do that? We want to uh, open up a bit here and push this layer of paper inside. So just push it in and then the ear back in place. Now we're going to repeat the same step on the other side. So I'm just opening up and pushing some paper inside. There we go. Now we're going to fold some of this neck part uh, in a bit more. So here we're going to do a mountain fold. And same thing on the other side. So just an easy mountain fold. Now we're going to go a bit more in the detail for this uh, front head part. So we're going to pinch the upper head uh, and we're going to flatten that and bring it a bit downwards. And then we're going to mountain fold that in to make it to make the nozzle a bit less pointy then we're going to shape the jaw a bit here Um, all right, so now we've got the front part here. We're just going to um, get some paper out of the ears to make the eye detail. So I'm just taking a bit of paper out and I'm just going to push that in. So we basically need to create an excess amount. There. So we're starting to get something that looks a bit like the eye here, right there. Oh, 
All right, there we have the eye. And we're just going to repeat the same step on the other side. So just pull some excess paper out a bit. There we go. And now to make the eye be a bit different, we're just going to shape here. So we're just going to press on the top of the head. There we go. Now we're going to use these two flaps here to hide all these back layers. And I'm also going to go inside here and open up one more right there and here i'm just going to tuck it in there in that small pocket now here is the back hidden so now I'm going to get in a bit more detail for um, that shaping of the legs. So we're going to fold it up here and then to the front. So you just open up and then back to the left. And we want to make that a bit thinner, so we want to press the sides here, press them down. Then close the layer in half. And then we fold everything back down. Now, as you can see, um, the bottom part of the leg hasn't coped too well with that. So I'm just going to have to um, do it again. I just need to pull that back again. And there we, yeah, there we go. I'm just going to make it a bit thinner. So I'm just squeezing a bit the top part of the leg. There we are. Now I'm going to repeat the same step for the other front leg. So we bring everything, we open up and we bring it to the front, just like that. Then to the back. Then we fold it in half. and then back down. So once again, we notice the same problem. We just fold this layer back right there and we can squeeze the paper a bit to make the leg a bit thinner. Now, as you can see, I have a bit of excess paper in the neck here, so I'm just going to fold that back. Now we're going to fold a bit of the belly in. Now we're going to repeat the same step on the other side. Now, if you do have uh, some good glue, I would recommend using some for some layers to close them a bit better. Uh, here, 
For now, we don't need any. I'm, we're just going a bit more in the details here. All right, now we're just going to fold that back to make the leg a bit more round. I'm going to pinch that as well, make the leg a bit thinner. So same thing here, I'm going to make the leg a bit more, a bit more round. And now just for the tail, I'm going to lift the end tip a bit. There we go. Now I'm going to shape the head a bit more. And now, so I look at the model and I think the neck is still a bit like this part. I think it's still a bit too large. So I'm trying, I'm, uh, I can see there's a lot of layers of paper here, but I'm still going to try and push them in nonetheless. Now, uh, we're pretty much done for the details. Now we're going to give the horse uh, its pose. That's probably the most important part. So uh, for that, I'm just going to bring the legs a bit to the front and then fold them back down. And same thing here. them to the front and then back down. We do want one a bit in front of the other one. That is a bit better. And now for the back legs, what I would recommend is having one um, that goes all the way to the back. So like this. Then I'm going to make it a bit thinner. And then for the other leg, I would just keep it as it is, maybe make it a bit more bent, but that should do. Now, as you can see, the belly's coming out. So uh, if you do have some glue, I would glue the belly in place because otherwise it might um, get in the way a bit. So here we have our horse. Um, now, if you want to expose it, uh, so I did that, uh, I'll show you a fold with an, another type of paper. So here it is. Now, if you want to expose it, you want to have some um, metal wire here and make it run through this, uh, this leg right here, the back right leg, that's the one still and that way it can just hold. Um, it's shaking a bit, but if I leave it be, it'll just get stable. Uh, now for th this one, I did use some tissue foil paper, so different paper, um, but this paper is very, very hard to fold. I would recommend 
using that paper more. Uh, you'll need a bit more time shaping to get to that result, but uh, in the first steps, it's going to be nearly impossible to do that. Uh, so the only advantage of that um, paper here is it offers a bit more shaping options. Now back here. Uh, so here is the final result. Um, if you've managed to get through this whole tutorial, uh, I recommend you try folding this origami dragon right here. Uh, it's a pretty complex fold actually, but if you manage to do this one, you'll have no problem with the dragon and it's an amazing design. Uh, I'll show you uh, right now the dragon. So there it is, it's a wyvern dragon. So it's supposed to crawl a bit like this. It has scales and spikes on the back. It's a very cool design. Uh, so I recommend you try out this model. Uh, so I'll see you in the next one. Peace.